day five we got our coffee already the sun is just rising the roosters are crowing and we're getting stuff cut up we got a couple more bays of trusses to put on then we're gonna start on our overhangs i got a 60 foot boom lift showing up today thank god because we need it and uh and we can start getting going on our overhangs our tails and hopefully putting some roof sheeting on before too long and greg's making up tails you can see got our 812 pitch marked these will overhang on top of the trusses we'll create our overhang and looks like he's got fascia boards cut up i gotta go prep our trusses for the last two bays looks like we got our purlins already made up what else we got to cut up greg we got Yep, bevel boards in our soffits, and good to go. I tell you what, I am glad I got this pack out and the DeWalt Tough Box system because it has allowed us to leave our tools on the job site out and secured, as well as out of the moisture and rain that we have experienced. I'm liking that. It's kind of hard to believe I've got a tool trailer at home that I haul around, and here I am building a building in New York, and I've only got like five job boxes. Go figure, I think I could downsize. That is Greg's coffee. Mine is over here. Let's get it going. Seems a little sharp. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wear the head cam for running purlins, get an idea how we do our safety harness. There's a lot of people that do different things. My thought is I'm gonna try to do the best I can because in the end, I wanna go home at night. So we try to do whatever we can to be safe. So I got the head cam, I'm gonna show you how we do it. Now typically, I'm gonna have my scissor lift. And I'm gonna put that down at the bottom of the roof or I'm gonna have it over on the edge where we run our purlins from. And that adds in the safety factor, not to mention just while you're up there working, having a safe place for all of your tools um, to go up and down off of the roof, off of the trusses. It's not that it's that unsafe climbing the walls, it really wears you out. And being tired is always an issue with safety. It's time to get some purlins on, Greg. Wow, dude, look at you. climbing a ladder I hate ladders you see here we got a pre-drilled hole for a 60 but on the connections we don't ever 60 them so we don't ever 60 them because we don't want two 60s splitting out this top Here, this is the flat top on these trusses. They were too tall to go down the road without special permits. So trust manufacturer, cut them off and be a piece that'll go on top. So these flat boards will get laid out two foot on center and then they will get nailed right on top of them. Just got done putting up our second to last set of trusses. We got lunch we're gonna eat. Our boom lift should be showing up quite quickly. Getting ready for some roof sheeting. 
that is our big push we got to have that done today is friday we got to have that done by the end of the day monday back from lunch feel good energized up there where our top hats go we got to run purlins every two foot so we're gonna take take up the boom basket and run all those out so we can get our top hat trusses on then we're just waiting to do these last couple more for logistics um i need some more nails so i'm out of nails and i can't i can't ply them together look jimmy was recording but gopro's dead poor guy what up guys this is what it looks like to be on top of the world okay i'm just joking uh we're about 30 feet up definitely you know always try to keep the fall protection on i don't always do it 100% and I should I know I should so should you guys big thing is you know I always try to keep wrapped up around solid solid framing uh, not like a wimpy board that's gonna break if you were to step on it but you can see here this is what we got to do to the prepare the top of our trusses so that's what we're gonna work on next got some top hats on the way they spec it is carry the a scrap piece top cords so it kind of laminates it together and then gets toenailed on each one of these purlins. The Hitachi framer, telling you it's legit. This thing is obviously, it's gasless, it's cordless, 30, 30 degree nails. And I mean, look at this. Can you see those toenails? I'll do another one just so you can see it. Look at that, right through the gusset plate. No problem. We left our purlins up here. We'll just continue the rest of our purlins. Be ready for overhangs, some sheeting. Pretty cool. Uh, you feel like you're on top of the world here, man. It's gorgeous. I got mountains around me. There's been like no breeze today. It's been sunny. It's amazing. Upstate New York is gorgeous this time of year. Mm -hmm. 